Hey what's up guys and yesterday I uploaded a video about the Lego Ninjago January 2023 wave and today we actually have images. So yesterday I uploaded a video it was just all the leaked information, set names, uh, age range etc. So we just had the information but today we actually have all the images apart from a couple of sets unfortunately but most of them we actually have. They're not that good, they're not high definition apart from one which I will cover in a separate video because I want to highlight it since it's a better image and that is the set 71786 Zane's Ice Dragon Creature. So that'll be covered in a separate video, but the rest of them will be covered in this video. And I won't really be going over the information. I'll pop it up on screen from yesterday's video, but you can just read it in your own time. Just pause the video if you want to. But without further ado, we're just gonna jump straight into this, guys. So to start off with, we have the first one here. Uh, which is uh, Kai's Ninja race car and it's a standard race car here I don't know if it's a pullback one I don't think so Um, it's got a red color scheme I think all these are stickers unfortunately here so it's red gold and black which complements it quite well we don't see the back and uh, we don't see the side that, that well to be honest we just see the front of these boxes but we obviously get Kai in this one the only one minifigure is involved so that's quite good I like the background I love the new box for this with the uh, white line going around with the zigzag at the top there and a the lightning strike so that's quite awesome as well and down at the bottom left hand corner is uh, strange I think that's the Evo logo because these are all like Evo sets but anyways moving on to the next one which is Lloyd's Mech Joe and we get too many figures here we get um, the bad guy which we can see slightly on top there now the involvement of the bad guys this time is not snakes as I said before in yesterday's video it's either mummies or other creatures and, and I like the design of these two mechs the gold and the green is a really cool uh, set and it's really nice um, way to get a lot of gold pieces in this uh, smaller set which is only costing uh, 19 99 euros which is sweet and uh, the both mechs there are awesome but I think the the other mech uh, the bad guy mech there the um, enemy mech could have been better but the uh, red and black is uh, quite nice there and you can obviously articulate the arms and legs and everything there with uh, those features. Moving on to this one now. This is one of my favorites out of this whole wave. It's Cole's Earth Dragon Evo and uh, Age of 7 Plus and we can see the bad guy here. He's in like a, a spider sort of mech there. I think, he, I think he's a mummy or a zombie type of some sort and we have this dragon um, which is awesome enough but this dragon has horns, golden horns coming out there. Uh, so he's orange, black and gold and obviously we have uh, Cole uh, jumping out there with his massive hammer as well and I just really like this set. I don't know why I just like it. I just like it so much. Uh, the next one is uh, Kai's Mech Bike Evo and this is another one which is interesting. We can see a, a really good close look at the enemies here like the skeletons and enemies. Unfortunately, it's still crummy images, but yeah, so his mech is riding the motorcycle, which is amazing. I like the build for the motorcycle. It's quite fun. It's quite cool. Uh, the mech there is awesome as well. I think the motorcycle actually is a bit better than the mech, and it's sadly not really in that um, good of a proportion because the motorcycle is slightly bigger than what the mech should be. I think what they should have done is maybe uh, push the price um, up a little bit and made the mech slightly bigger, but um, obviously the mech was trying to be the same sort of size as the rest of the mechs that came in this wave. But yeah, moving on to this one here, and this is one that I thought, well, I didn't really have any thoughts about it because it was it was always going to be Jay's Thunderjet, and um, that's what it is. It's just slightly bigger um, and slightly smaller to previous ones that we've had before. You know, the blue and the gold uh, works well, so we get Jay in there. Next one is Jay's Titan Mech. And we get six minifigures on this one, so if you're wanting to pick up all the new minifigures, this is one to go for. Obviously, it's a more pricey one. It's €79.99, Euros, pounds, dollars, etc. And we get that play feature in the middle that fires away. He's got a massive sword uh, there at the side, which is uh, cool. And those both those play features uh, sitting on the shoulder, surrounded by that blue and gold, which complements each other quite well. Bad guys have, have this little tiny turret to fight against them. It's like a skeleton uh, force there, zombie force, mummy force. Um, yet again, I apologize for the crummy images. And we also have this guy swooping in here with his parachute sort of thing there. I don't know how that quite works. Moving on. 
to the uh, last one here. And as I said before, I will cover the uh, 71786 Zane's Ice Dragon in a separate video. This one is the last one here and it's the Creative Ninja Brick Box. There's a lot of details to go through and I really, really like this. So what I like most about this one here is actually the builds in the background, how they are obviously Ninjago themed, obviously very Asian uh, themed there. We have like a training ground there. We have this little car. The car is uh, it's, it's not the best, not gonna lie. But the training ground there with like punching bags and different like stilts and jumping beams and that sort of stuff, fighting off against enemies there. The motorcycle is a bit better than uh, than the the car to be honest. I think the car could have been featured in like a larger like poly bag or even its set own separate set to be honest. But yeah, so that is all the sets apart from uh, that one I mentioned before, Zane's Ice Dragon, which I will be doing in another video. But yeah, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this. And if you have, please smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also hit that post notification bell to keep updated with all the LEGO Ninjago content I'm bringing to your face with leaked uh, information and leaked images, news, everything. Anyways guys, peace out, have a nice rest of your day and leave in the comments down below which of all these sets was your favourite. Anyways guys, I will see you later. <laughs>